Hello, and thanks for listening to this research summary on the linkages between small-scale irrigation and women's empowerment in northern Ghana. Three research questions guided this research. First, what are the linkages between small-scale irrigation and women's empowerment? To answer this question, we developed a conceptual framework drawing on the literature on gender and irrigation. This framework illustrates a two-way relationship between irrigation and the components of women's empowerment, which are resources, agency, and achievements. Access to resources and agency influence women's ability to adopt and benefit from small-scale irrigation. At the same time, small-scale irrigation can increase women's agency, leading to achievements like greater income or increased social status. The opportunity structure, which includes institutions, infrastructure, and interventions, shapes these relationships in a particular context. The second question is, how does this framework apply to Northern Ghana? To answer this question, we implemented qualitative research in the Upper East region, including focus groups with farmers on empowerment topics, life history interviews, and interviews with market traders. The findings revealed that women face considerable resource constraints, particularly with respect to their access to land and water for irrigation, but also labor. Also, social norms about asset ownership mean that men tend to control irrigation technology. Because of these limitations, while small-scale irrigation offers direct benefits to many women, it is not always the most desirable livelihood activity. Therefore, when households acquired technologies for irrigation, some women chose to engage in other livelihood activities, like market trading, while men took over irrigation. The third question, how did the introduction of motor pumps affect indicators of women's empowerment, was answered using a quantitative impact assessment of an intervention that distributed motor pumps to randomly selected groups of farmers in some study communities. We collected household survey data before and after the intervention, including an intra-household module on women's empowerment to calculate the Women's Empowerment in Agriculture Index, or WEA. The results show that the intervention had a positive impact on some indicators of women's empowerment, including control over assets, control over income, and input into production decisions. However, the results were not significant when we used an alternative group, control group. Furthermore, we found negative spillover effects for women in households that did not gain access to the pump, potentially due to conflicts that arose because of the intervention. We also found that women's empowerment outcomes were affected by other factors, including age, irrigation status at the baseline, land size, and experience with shocks. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to your questions during the live session.